Hey guys, it's me Stace. Today I want to share with you this really fun and cute apple shaped card. I think this is perfect for a teacher appreciation week just to give a gift to a teacher. Um, really cute. There's the inside there and this is all done on the brother machine. Alright, let's go to the machine and we will get started. Alrighty guys, we're at the machine. Hopefully you're able to see the screen okay. We're going to click on pattern, click on the shapes, click on the food, and then choose the apple. I want to resize the apple in height. I want to make this be 4.20. This does include the stem of the apple as well. So get that to 4.2 and then click OK. Our apple has two parts, part A and part B. We're going to click on part A, click OK, click set. It brings the, that piece to our mat. Click add and go back and grab part B, which is the apple. Click OK and then click on set. So now we have the apple and we have the stem on our mat. I'm going to bring the stem all the way down and work on the apple. I do want four copies of the apple. So upper left hand corner, I'm going to click on that icon there. It'll bring up this screen. Right above the OK button, you will see a square with two arrows. Click on that. And I want to change the number from one to four. So I'm going to click on the plus sign until I get to four. And then click OK. And that's going to give us four copies of the apple. The reason I want four is we're going to weld two together. One will be for the inside and one will be for the outside. So to weld them together, what I do is I take the pieces I want to weld and I line them up at the top. This way I know they're not they're straight versus trying to line them up on the grid. So you can see I can't go any farther here. So I know these two pieces are lined up. And because we are creating a welded card, I want to flip one of the images. So I'm going to click on the one on the left. That same button above the OK button. Click on that. On the very bottom, you will see the triangle. Click on that and that will flip our apple around for us. And then click OK. Now I want to have this apple overlap the other apple a little bit. Click on that plus sign so I'm able to see it better. I could probably go a little bit more. Let me bring it over here so I can see the overlap a little better. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. You don't want a really large overlap, just enough to where they're going to fold together. Click OK. Now these two pieces are going to create the card. To make that be a welded piece, you want to group them together first. On the far right, you will see the button with the three squares. Click on that. Click on the other apple. Make sure they're both selected. Click OK. The very bottom, you will see this circle with a triangle. I'm going to click on that, and this is going to weld the pieces together. So I'm going to click OK, and you'll see they're welded together. So now we have our card base. So I'm going to cut that out in red. This piece here will be for the top of the apple or the front of the card. This is going to be for the inside. So I'm going to resize this apple. Again, that same button above the OK button. Click on that. This one, I'm going to change the width of this apple to be 3.5. Oop, wrong way. 3.5 for the width. Click OK. So now I'm going to bring this piece up and then click on the zoom button so you can see. You'll see this is going to fit inside our apple nicely so it gives us a place to write our greeting. Alright, so we are done with our apple. I'm going to bring the shapes piece in the upper left hand corner. So that'll be red cardstock, a little piece of green on, the, on my bottom left. On my bottom right, I'll have a piece of the white cardstock. I'm going to load my mat, cut this out with a table, and put our apple together. Alright guys, everything is cut out. I'm showing you guys my mat so you can see how my cardstock was laid out. So I have a piece of red here, the green, and the white. I'm just going to take everything off our mat. And we can put our card together. Alright, so we're going to take our shaped card and just fold that in half. And just make sure it lines up on the side before you go ahead and give it a crease. Okay, so we have that piece. Then we have our stem. I'm going to take some sticky strip for my stem. And put this on the front, on top. That way this is not going to come off on us. And put that where you want it to go. Okay. Now the reason we have this piece for the front, when we fold the card in half, you can see we lose part of the apple house um, straight right there. That's why we create a top layer for that. All right, take my glue, and you want to have your glue go all the way to the edge. And make sure your piece of apple is the right piece. I think it is, and then just go ahead and plop this on. That's going to seal in our stem as well and hide that. And just rub that. So now we have our card. Isn't that cute? Then we have the piece for the inside. Great gift for a teacher. 
or a great card. You can, of course, make them bigger. All right, so there you have it, guys, a really simple brother video, creating a shaped Apple card inside the actual machine and not the software. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.